my review today is Juno. Honest to blog, I love this movie. Um, this is this is a great movie, a great comedy, um, directed by Jason Reitman, who really kind of, uh, you know, defined himself as a director separate from uh, his father, uh, with Thank You for Smoking, um, and uh, great screenplay by uh, Diablo Cody. Um, she won an Oscar for it. Uh, the movie was nominated for Best Picture for Best Director and Best Actress. Ellen Page, Canadian actress Ellen Page, lovely, lovely lady. Um, and Michael Sarah is in it, uh, Jason Bateman is in it, a uh, little Arrested Development uh, reunion there, um, which is cool. And Jennifer Garner, uh, who's incredible in this movie, actually. Um, I, I normally, like, before watching this movie, I didn't really like her, but then I saw this movie, I was like, yeah, all right, okay. Um, basic plot of the movie is a uh, uh, 16 year old girl, Juno. Uh, she gets knocked up by Michael Cera. Uh, no, it's not a horror movie, but uh, a lot of people find that a hor horrific uh, circumstance. But uh, basically, I mean, it just follows uh, the, the nine months uh, uh, from the, the time she first finds out uh, to the actual birth of the baby. And it's, it's her experiences. And, and as this unique kid, um, kind of her outlook on it, um, which in, in a lot of sections of the movie she proves to be you know, a, a really mature and thoughtful kind of person, and it, it, and though the movie, it's like it's it's really funny. I mean, there's there's joke after joke after joke, um, or like funny dialogue after funny dialogue, quirky, quirky, quirky. You know that stuff. Um, you know, it it, it gets moving. Um, c kind of when you you think about like uh, uh, her her journey with with uh, the pregnancy and kind of. Uh, how her experience with it kind of makes her think about the people who have been with her along with it. I mean, she earns a deeper appreciation for her stepmother, a uh, deeper appreciation for her father, um, and, uh, well, uh, kind of a, a sort of an inappropriate relationship that uh, she has with the, the Jason Bateman character, who she's uh, working as a, a surrogate, um, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, but basically, um, kind of one of the criticisms of this movie uh, was that, and it's a stupid criticism, absolutely stupid, pointless, groundless criticism that people will say, say, teenage girls don't talk like Juno talks like. Well, oh wow, okay, great. Um, you follow around teenage girls, that's cool. Um, but no, I mean, it's obviously it is a written movie. It's a colorful movie because it kind of has to be. Um, and the, the point that this movie makes anyway is that Juno most definitely uh, is not your average uh, teenage girl, of course. Uh, so she's definitely, you know, quirky and strange. And uh, the movie is narrated by her, so it is through her point of view. And she kind of talks about that in, in her, you know, pre-pregnancy uh, uh, experiences in high school. Um, and yeah, I mean, I always thought that was just such a stupid criticism. Like, you know, this is an individual character who talks like this. Um, and if... If this were, like, if, if you took away her personality from this movie, if you took away her, her colorful dialogue, if you took away her uh, eccentric and kind of off-the-wall personality, this movie would be horrible. This movie would suck. So, I mean, I always thought that to be a completely invalid criticism. Um, you know, that would take the heart and soul out of uh, the movie. And Diablo Cody's screenplay is, is very, very good. Um, I, I think, you know, mm, I think it did kind of deserve to, to win. I mean, there are other movies that were nominated in that category that, you know, kind of maybe were a little more Oscar-worthy. Well, like, maybe specifically, like, Michael Clayton. But, I mean, that's you're comparing two different movies here. But this was something fresh, something original. Kind of, uh, this came out a, a year after Little Miss Sunshine. So this was kind of like a, a period in, you know, uh, cinema going history, I guess, um, where movies like this, like the little indie movies that do have a recognizable cast, um, but aren't like the big, huge, mm, normal, like Oscar kind of event movies that you'd normally see getting love around that time of year. So like a little comedy, a little quirky comedy, um, uh, I think it's uh, good that it would get uh, nominations. And, and I do think this is a much better movie than Little Miss Sunshine, Th though I do love Little Miss Sunshine. Um, and they're not even that similar, but just that they are little indie comedies that got nominated. Uh, I do think it's better. It's a, a lot fresher and more original. And it's, it, it is, I mean, a more kind of challenging movie. Like, you, w when you really think about what the character is going through. Like, um, uh, basically, I mean, the movie in, in so many ways, it at least kind of uh, puts on the table uh, the possibility of, you know, uh, 
having an abortion. Um, but it's not so much really kind of like a preachy anti-life movie or a <laughs> pro-life movie, uh, but not so much pro-choice. But it is kind of pro-choice, too, because that's her choice. Um, and that's the whole point. Um, but it, it was her de decision, her individual decision. And I think kind of what uh, drives her, even though she's, you know, she knows as this 16 year old girl, she knows that she's not ready to bring a kid into the world. But at the same time, she thinks, Okay, well, I can look for for uh, some people, and maybe I can you know help them out. And in comes uh, the Jason Bateman and Jennifer Garner character, um, which is is really kind of where the movie develops, and and kind of what the the whole basis of the movie is, in my opinion. Because really, I mean, though uh, her her romantic interest is Michael Sarah in, in so many ways, it, it really is about Juno and Jason Bateman's character. So I forget his name. I don't know if it's. Uh, on his name here. Nope, not there. Um, but let's just call him Jason Bateman. Um, kind of like the contrast between those two characters. Like, basically, you have this 16-year-old girl. She's She knows she's not ready to have a baby, but you know, again, she's she's going to uh, bring uh, some love into the world um, and bring the baby to a loving couple that supposedly needs them. But then you kind of realize with Jason Bateman's character and, and his wife, uh, played by Jennifer Garner, uh, that maybe things aren't so perfect and that he's kind of living in the past, sort of, like, he wants to relive his youth, um, and his wife, like, she's completely innocent, the, the, the wife, but, like, he kind of makes it out to, to be that she's, like, an overbearing, pressuring him into being an adult, but I think the moral of the story is you, you're not pressured into being an adult, you, you're being an adult because you're an adult, uh, so act like a fucking adult, um, so that's kind of, kind of the story of, of the movie and the contrast between the two characters because ultimately this this teenage girl makes more mature and more compassionate decisions than than this man who he like you know Jason Bateman he's such a likable actor um and he's he and the character itself is likable um and and that's kind of the point like because it reaches a point in the movie and I guess I'm kind of spoiling it so sorry um where he, in so many ways, he puts the moves on Juno, and, and you're like, whoa, 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 hold on a second, whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, um, and it, it just kind of crashes everything down, everything that, you know, uh, the Jennifer Garner character and, and the Juno character were hoping for, um, <laughs> for, you know, uh, the, their whole agreement, their whole deal, uh, it, uh, it, it all comes uh, uh, crashing because of this one person's this man, pushing late 30s, acting more like a 16-year-old than the 16-year-old. And I think that's kind of the point of the movie. And uh, I think it, it does dan like kind of dance or step around this kind of dilemma in a very careful kind of way and a very realistic kind of way, I, I think. Um, and the way it ends, I think it's very satisfying. Um, of course, you know... Uh, uh, the the baby does uh, come with uh, uh, Jennifer Garner in, in that beautiful moment where you see kind of where how it came together and how she like oh man frame the picture um, let's say if I'm in you're in oh man that's so good um, and you know uh, they uh, uh, Juno and uh, Michael Sarah's character they uh, continue their relationship and I don't know because of the uh, these nine months uh, where uh, this this girl kind of learns uh, about the people around her and, and sort of about herself as well um, kind of strengthens her relationships and uh, again it's it's not just you know with the relationship with the Jason Bateman character or the Michael Sarah character um, but also with with her parents um, and it, one of the best scenes in the movie is uh, with JK Simmons who plays her father where he gives that whole speech you know of uh, uh, love should be you should think the sunshine comes out of their butt no matter what something like that but it's oh, it's, it's so great and uh yeah i i think it's a it's a great movie like it's it's a rare a rare kind of a treat of a movie where it is so funny it is so quirky um and i i realize maybe some people might be turned off by that like you know oh, i have my I have my hamburger phone no um some people be just like off um, this is one of those movies that was kind of infamous for like, okay, get through the first 15 minutes. If you can get through the first 15 minutes, you're good. You're sailing, man. Um, so that's pretty much what I would tell anybody who, who wants to experience Junio. Junio? Juno. Um, but yeah, uh, basically, I, I think it's a wonderful film. A great film. Didn't win the Oscar. Um, 
what won that year? It was 2007. Uh, no Country for Old Men won. So, yeah, I guess I like No Country for Old Men better. But uh, this is a great film in and of itself. And, yeah, if you haven't seen it, you, you, honest to blog, you gotta, you gotta check this out. Um, Ellen Page, great in it. Nominated for Best Actress. I think maybe she should have won. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head who won that year. I think it was Marion Cotillard. Um, but, man, she's great. Great Canadian icon. So, God bless you, Ellen Page. I love you. Um, so, yeah, this, this is pretty much uh, my review of Juno. Uh, great film, great comedy, a great time at the movies. So, thanks for watching.